What's up, guys? I hope you guys are having a good weekend here. Just wanted to um, just wanted to film a quick video here tonight. Um, as as I've been looking through some of the information that uh, some of the, in, the the new bill that just got passed uh, that uh, Trump signed on Friday, uh, looking into the uh, finalized details and some of the implications, um, really made me think of something. I, I, I don't like to um, I don't like to get into politics too much on this channel. I like to stay away from politics. I like to focus more on um, uh, just the ec economic policy. And I know policy, uh, economic policy and politics usually typically go hand in hand. Uh, there's uh, there's always agendas behind it. But um, I usually uh, like to focus on, you know, what you can do um, in light of what's going on uh, to help yourself out financially. Um, but uh, on, on Friday, the something really struck a chord with me, the fact that uh, other than Representative Massey, um, there were, uh, there was nobody uh, opposing, really opposing this bill passing. And um, it's, uh, it's, it, it reminds me of the, uh, the old uh, Greek style of, uh, of, of a hero. Um, you know, we've got the superheroes today. We've got, you know, the last couple of years, last couple of years, we've had a lot of, um, you know, uh, comic books, superheroes, uh, movies, um, you know, Iron Man, the Avengers, Batman, Aquaman. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm the, one of the biggest nerds. I'll be the first to admit it. I have a custom, uh, uh a gold man versus captain Bitcoin, uh, currency wars, uh, poster up on my wall. Um, but uh, uh, it, what what Massey did uh, reminded me of the old Greek style heroes, where the heroes uh, like the Aristotelian hero, where you're uh, they're, they're a hero because number one they operate out of great courage, but number two their greatest strength ends up being their downfall. And it's really sad, but that's kind of the way that our uh, political system is set up today. Where that's represented Massey. If you're not aware, he was pretty much the only one standing up and saying, "I, you know, we need to not do this." And uh, if we're going to pass this, it has to be a recorded vote, uh, because his point was basically the only reason why you're trying to do this over voiceover. It's not because you're concerned about catching the coronavirus. It's because you don't want your vote recorded on record that you voted for this, because very soon here. Everything will come out into light as to what was included in this bill. Things like $25 million dedicated to the Kennedy Arts Center and just garbage like that in a bailout bill that's supposedly there to deal with the economic fallout of the coronavirus. Um, uh, things like $25 million set apart specifically for salaries and expenses of uh, representatives in the House. Um, explicitly set aside in there just for money for them. Um, just outright, um, uh, just, uh, uh, just outright, um, just outright corruption. And so, um, having somebody like that stand up and say, no, we're going to, you know, I'm going to force a, uh, try and force a recorded vote here because I want everybody to be on record as to whether they voted yes or no for this, because it's, uh, you know, it, it's not right. If, if this is supposedly supposed to, you know, be helping the people that are in need during this time, why is it a $2 trillion deal and only uh, $280 billion of it is going to, uh, uh, you know, families and individuals in need. Um, and so he's, he's not going to get, he, if you've, if you follow this story at all, you'll see uh, he's pretty much everybody it's, uh, has been blasting him for it. Uh, Trump, John Kerry, uh, at both sides of the aisle, everybody was, uh, you know, publicly um, insulting him and uh, blasting him for uh, for doing this. And uh, uh, it's it's probably going to be his the end of his political career. Um, but uh, anyway, it just uh, uh, it's uh, where it seems like we're kind of turning a corner um, with this, uh, in, in our country here where we're moving into a, uh, kind of a, a different, um, just a different, uh, way of our country operating and, uh, the corruption, the socialism, the, uh, uh, legal transfer of wealth, the, um, uh, the lack of transparency and how our uh, government organizations operate with the, there's stipulations in the new bill about how the federal reserve can operate, uh, how certain individuals can, um, 
uh, basically, basically they can um, control where the money goes um, with uh, without oversight. So uh, it's these things are uh, these things are very. Um, very much more socialist and less free market. You know, we're operating off of basically modern mon monetary theory, um, firing up the printing press. Um, they keep on saying every dollar uh, deficit, every red dollar for the government is a black dollar uh, for the uh, the private sector. Every dollar the government spends in deficit is a dollar in uh, surplus for the private sector. Um, and uh, it's uh, it's just... It's just a red herring, um, and I, I'm not going to get into all the flaws of modern monetary theory here. Um, but uh, the good news is that if you know how money works, and you know it's in the bill, and you know it's coming, uh, you can uh, protect yourself uh, financially and prepare for it, and uh, potentially even come out ahead. Um, and so, one of the th if you're uh, if if you've done independent contractor work. Um, you can qualify for, uh, some of the, uh, some of the additional help from this bill. Um, if you've done, if you own a, a business and you've 1099 somebody or hired somebody, um, you know, W2 or 1099, you, you, uh, pay people, you can qualify for, uh, potentially qualify for grant and, or, um, loan money that uh, might be forgivable as well, depending on what you spend that money on. Um, you can go to sba.gov to see those. Uh, programs to see if you qualify for those and uh, just apply if you're not sure if you'll qualify. They give you all the forms there that you would need to uh, um, to fill out and uh, submit. And so it's um, that that's one way that at least uh, you know if if you're gonna <laughs> if the money's going somewhere, might as well direct it uh, into uh, hands that are gonna help the economy and uh, help our country long term. Um, and uh, the other thing is knowing what this is going to do, the, uh, the influx of new money that is uh, being created is uh, going to far outpace um, the uh, addition, uh, additional goods and services that are being created because we're having a, you know, a, a big contraction there right now. And so uh, usually when you see those two things combined, you start to see inflation happen really fast. Um, seeing what's going on in the gold markets right now, where uh, gold dealers are shutting down, bullion banks are uh, uh, they're uh, not being able to fulfill their contracts, um, things like this, all the supply being shut down because the mines, uh, they can't operate due to the coronavirus. Um, the, uh, um, the futures contracts, they're not being fulfilled. The LBMA, the London Bullion and Mar uh, Mar uh, Market Association, uh, they're trying to um, uh, do delivery with their 400-ounce uh, bars instead of 100-ounce bars, which the COMEX in New York requires. And so because they can't melt it down and ship it right now, they're just saying, hey, let's just do it in our vaults with our 400-ounce bars. Um, and they're saying, hey, we have enough gold to do this. But um, the gold that they're saying that they have is uh, they're including like monetary gold, like central bank's gold and other gold that is actually allocated so the amount of gold that's actually available is a lot less than uh, what they're claiming, which is if you're if you're having to kind of skew the numbers, then it uh, uh, kind of produces a lack of uh, confidence there. So um, things like that that are happening right now and then understanding uh, things are going to get worse. Maybe you uh, uh, play things to the downside, uh, make some market bets to the downside right now, um, or at least have yourself hedged. And then when you start seeing deals come up. So just being financially educated, you can use these times to uh, actually get ahead financially, um, even though it's sad and uh, destructive for our country and our economy as a whole, at least um, individuals that are watching what's happening, we can uh, we can at least ourselves uh, prepare, get ahead and uh, help out our loved ones as well. So um, hope you guys are staying safe right now. And And just like Massey, um, and I don't, I don't know anything about him other than, other than this, <laughs> this weekend. Uh, I don't know anything about his policies or what he's voted for or anything like that. So uh, don't take this, uh, uh, 
don't take this to the bank, but uh, as far as what he did this weekend, standing up to everybody, even though he knew it would be his potential downfall, I think that is a good model to follow in life. Be a hero, um, operate out of your strengths, and do what is right, even when it uh, it looks like it will uh, potentially uh, be the last thing that you're able to do there. Um, so that's all. Hope you guys have a good weekend, and uh, I will uh, make a post, uh, an act not a video post, I'll put up one of those picture posts that YouTube does now um, uh, within the next uh, day or two on um, when I will be doing the live stream Q&A. There were enough of you that said that that'd be great, so um, pretty soon here. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll be on Wednesday of this week. I just haven't figured out the right time for it yet. And uh, as soon as I do, I'll, I'll make sure I put up a bunch of posts and I'll uh, tweet about it as well. For any of you that follow me on Twitter, um, I'm tweeting all day, every day. So if you want uh, frequent updates about what's going on uh, in the markets, you can follow me there at Heresy Financial. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are having a good weekend and uh, talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.